Welcome to the Volunteer Orientation for Savvy Services for the Blind. This will give you a brief look into our program and what volunteering at Savvy really means. During this presentation, we'll tell you a bit about what Savvy is and what we hope to achieve as an organization. We'll talk about the teaching strategies we use to help our students accomplish their goals, including the principles of structured discovery training. After that, we'll discuss the obligations that come with serving at Savvy, as well as the ways that we provide support to make this a fulfilling experience for each of our volunteers. The Southern Arizona Association for the Visually Impaired was originally founded by two blind sisters in 1964 as a social club. As they so often do, casual get-togethers soon evolved into a mission for advocacy and social advancement when members recognized the common obstacles they shared and began thinking of ways to overcome them. Today, doing business as Savvy Services for the Blind, we are a 501c3 IRS-approved nonprofit agency with training centers in both Tucson and Phoenix, Arizona. Blindness can be found at every cross-section of society. When it comes to accessing specialized resources for education and independent living, however, those in already marginalized communities tend to face the highest barriers. Compared to the average population in the United States, more than twice the percentage of blind individuals never complete high school. Slightly more than average have only a high school diploma or GED. 10% fewer than average obtain a degree from a two-year college or trade school, while bachelor's and graduate programs are completed at just over half the rate of their sighted peers. Almost a quarter of people with visual impairments live in poverty, double the national average. Another 30% live at or near the poverty line, while less than half of blind households earn more than twice the poverty limit. Only 27% of blind individuals are consistently employed. A large part of the services that Savvy provides is vocational rehabilitation, giving our students the skills and resources they need to thrive in virtually any career. Savvy Services for the Blind has a mission of cultivating growth and opportunity for blind people through non-visual skills training, demonstrating that all challenges have solutions while fostering self-efficacy through empowerment and confidence. Savvy believes in a world where blind individuals are equal contributors locally, nationally, and throughout the world, demonstrating it is not what you can see, it is what you can do. Structured discovery training is a teaching methodology based on the lived experiences and philosophies of blind individuals. Structured discovery encourages independent exploration and experimentation, with appropriate safety measures, of course, and uses Socratic questioning techniques to build students' confidence in their own abilities to overcome future obstacles. By guiding students through the process of finding their own answers to questions they may have, we strengthen problem-solving skills and prepare students for situations where there might not be someone available to help out. The framework of structured discovery training is made of five key components. Education in non-visual skills, critical thinking and problem-solving, positive personal attitudes, how to fight against public misconceptions to self-advocate, and the importance of giving back. A core value in Structured Discovery, and at Savvy, is recognizing that every one of us can contribute to our communities and that there's power in doing so. By sharing our time and talents with others, we can each find the confidence and inspiration to pursue any goal. While volunteering at Savvy Services for the Blind, we do have some guidelines that you'll be expected to follow. First of all, maintain an environment of courtesy and professionalism so that Savvy can remain a comfortable and welcoming space for everyone who passes through. Next, any personal or confidential information needs to be kept that way. Always respect the privacy and dignity of all students, staff, guests, and other volunteers. Avoid insensitive or offensive language. And if you're not sure whether something might be insensitive, please ask. 
Equality begins with education. Next, we always expect you to prioritize the safety of yourself and others, both physically and emotionally. Remember, though, that our students are learning to be self-reliant. It can be easy to slip into helper mode when someone is struggling, but it's important that they get the chance to solve problems independently. Suitable clothing is necessary for performing your duties safely and easily. We do ask that you refrain from wearing anything that displays obscene language or offensive material while representing our organization. Avoid inappropriate physical or sexual relationships with other volunteers, staff, and students. If you feel that a personal relationship is creating a conflict of interest in fulfilling your volunteer duties, we ask that you discuss solutions with a supervisor at a time and place where you feel comfortable. One last thing we'll mention for now. Savvy Services for the Blind does not tolerate bullying, harassment, or discrimination of any sort, even if you didn't mean it like that. It's up to each of us to take accountability for our actions and recognize opportunities for personal growth. If you're not sure how someone might interpret something, perhaps you can try a different approach. When you're volunteering at Savvy, we want to make sure you know that you're a part of our team. A staff member will always be available to provide support and direction whenever it's needed. We respect and value your choice to share your time by volunteering. If at any time you'd like a record of your service with us, please just ask and we'll be happy to provide you with a printed or electronic record. Your safety and well-being matter, not just as a volunteer, but as a part of our community. Please don't hesitate to come to us with any concerns. Even if we're not able to assist directly, we can at least help point you in the direction of the resources that you need. Suggestions and feedback are highly encouraged at Savvy. Structured discovery training shows us the value of exploration as a continuous process, allowing us to constantly grow as we take in new information. Your contributions make a meaningful difference to the quality of services we are able to provide to our students and guests. Every hour you donate to Savvy is one more hour we can put towards furthering our mission of empowering the blind community. So as you join us in becoming a volunteer, what's next? If you haven't already, you should soon receive a copy of our volunteer handbook. This contains more details on our programs, expectations, and policies, plus tips on best practices and approaches when working with blind individuals. At the end of the handbook, there will be waivers and disclosures available for you to sign. Please check in with the volunteer coordinator if you have any further questions on those. For certain positions, we do require background checks and fingerprint clearance before interacting with any of our students. For our long-term volunteers, certain positions also include immersion training, where you get to work directly alongside our students to receive instruction in core non-visual skills and philosophies of blindness. Once these are completed, you will receive on-site training in the volunteer role that you've selected and be provided with any additional resources or materials to accomplish your task. At any time, please feel free to check out our website or YouTube channel for videos and links that provide additional insights into the culture at Savvy, our programs, as well as general perspectives on blindness and well-being. So why is it that we volunteer? Of course, everyone has their own goals and motivations, but some of the most common reasons we've found are to create new stories for ourselves, to learn something new, to get to know more about our communities, to get to know ourselves, to feel like we're part of something bigger, to stay socially and physically active, to share our experiences and skills, to reduce stress and anxiety, to lower risk of depression, to seek purpose and meaning in our lives, to meet new people who share our passions and interests, and of course, above all, to find connection with the world around us. 
At Savvy, we know that every volunteer brings more than just an extra pair of hands. You bring your experiences, your creativity, your curiosity, and your desire to make a difference. As you share your time with us, we hope that you'll also come to share our vision of creating a world where blindness is better understood in society and high barriers can be replaced with high expectations. Expect more, achieve more, become more. Thank you so much for watching. For more information, you can find us online at savvy.us, that's S-A-A-V-I dot U-S, or email us directly at volunteer at savvy.us. This presentation was written and designed by Amanda Morrison for Savvy Services for the Blind 2023. Photos are copyright Savvy Services for the Blind 2020 through 2023. The presentation template was created by Slidesgo with icons by Flat Icon and images by FreePick. Statistical data came from IPUMS Health Surveys 2022 dataset, which can be found at nhis.ipums.org. All links will be available in the description for the video, and you can request a copy of the slideshow by emailing us at volunteer at savvy.us. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today. We'll look forward to seeing you at Savvy.